Um, got my wallet, back to the gas station we go, grab some food, because I just realized we forgot to eat this morning. So, we are, what does it say, 154 kilometers, so an hour and 59 minutes away from our destination. Um, that'll be a bit longer because I'm gonna grab some food, fill up with gas, and then we will be on our way. Um, but yeah, sometimes your, your adventures don't always go the way you expect them to. But you know what? You gotta roll with it and make the best of it. Uh, my wife was supposed to come today, but uh, she just didn't feel like it. So most of these adventures are done with just myself, uh, Tasha, and my son. So yeah, it's nice when she can come along, but what can you do? Can I get two number one combos without the meat? Uh, orange juice. That's it. Another adventure. A um, lot of cars here. I'm actually really surprised. Um, but yeah, let's go check this out. So here we go. We went to see the train wreck a little while back and we took a different way, the way it tells us to go. So we thought we'd actually go the way you're supposed to go. The path is very easy, um, very nice, nice and wide. Um, doesn't look like a lot of climbing here, but there's sure a lot of vehicles out there. They got a parking area out there and uh, um, just a lot of people. People are bored, it's COVID, pandemic. People want to get out. So this should be interesting. Um, Tasha's getting away from me again.
so we actually found our way down to the Whistler train wreck. Uh, we've done this before, but we actually didn't see all of this. So it's actually kind of cool to see that the tracks are way up there. And then these cars are kind of spread out throughout the woods here. Um, this one behind me is almost off the cliff and into the water. But it is really neat to see all the train carnage, um, if that's what you want to call it. Um, just throughout the woods here. Sorry, I'm watching the video as well. Um, but yeah, and then we've got the river behind us, which is really cool. But yeah, this is the Whistler train wreck, and we're actually gonna go explore it. So let's go. Climb down a few other people down here it looks like um, but just by the water here I don't know if you can see it or not uh, waterfall over there That's cold. That's straight off the glaciers. Oh. Oh. But my place is so oh. That's cold, but man, does that feel good. Just a little bit of a dip in that water helps cool you down. Oh. 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 I'm out of breath now. There's nothing like a nice cold dip. But that was cold. Water was moving quite swiftly too. It reminded me of a, oh, a lake I jumped into many, many, many years ago. And uh, 
I jumped in and it just took my breath right away. It was so cold. Um, but yeah. So, this trail is called the Trainwreck Trail in Whistler. And, uh, pretty easy. Trails are pretty good. You can ride your bike, um, take a baby cart, stroller. Um, might be a little bit too much for a walker, but uh, it's uh, easy enough to maneuver through and to get through and to follow. It's fairly easy with typical uh, park signs and uh, a path that's very well marked. So we do uh, recommend the uh, trail and the, uh, the scenery is beautiful. Like just the rock faces and cliffs. It's just amazing actually. And really cool to uh, get out there and see. So today has been a, uh, my hair's still a little bit wet. Um, today has been a, a nice day. Um, we just went up to the train wreck and uh, we've done this trip before, but it wasn't, we went the wrong way and it was quite a climb. But this time the trip was actually really nice. It, it's a nice trip, like the trail's really well done. Um, bikes, uh, wheelchairs, uh, it's a lot of work if you do a wheelchair, uh, baby strollers, all those kind of things are good for this, this uh, trip. Um, but yeah, I saw little kids like three years old, four years old hiking. My son Caden did it, he's eight, well eight in a couple, two weeks. Um, Tasha did it, of course she likes to climb anyway, so she did pretty good. But uh, yeah, it was a nice trip, and uh, it, it kind of—it's neat to find something like that off in the woods, uh, and to find the backstory behind it. Uh, things like the train wreck for Whistler, uh, Parkhurst, the ghost town—those uh, are really cool things to to explore. Uh, he, living here in um, BC, it, it's we got so many things like just the hills and the mountains and there's so much to explore here.